Green bar, you can see how fast this is going, and you can see the other one. This will take us, this is going to 345 frames per second. This can do hardly half, 136 frames per second. This is already done in 17 minutes. This is already working. But this is not the interesting thing. The interesting thing is that I didn't compare this PC to this PC. Don't look at the screen, look at me. <laughs> I compared this PC to this notebook with processor graphic. So here, the transcoding was done with the Sandy Bridge processor graphic, and there, this was done with a honky big discrete graphic card, which cost more than $400. And I believe it will be safe to say, guys, that today Sandy Bridge is probably doing transcoding faster than any discrete graphic card in the market. This is the place that I need to be quiet, and you all need to say it. Wow! <laughs> I really need to hear one because the developers, the designer of Sandy Bridge, are sitting in the first row. So I'll help you. One, two, three. Wow! Thank you. Now I can go on. So this is the QuickSync technology transcoding from one format to another format. I believe you'll see numbers which are 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10x. And the press that Togetti had the chance to play with this. This is one of the things that they highlighted, I believe we caught everybody by surprise. Because this is really a usage model that we will try to move the files between the device to enjoy the content. This is exactly what's going to be behind it. Now, I've searched several times in the last two years that the way that man or human machine interface is going to work is going to change altogether. It's going to be gesture recognition. It's going to be advanced gaming controls. It's going to be avatars. We are going to be immersed into these games. What you'll see is real time, and finally, finally we've been able to cross the bar to have enough compute power to deliver real time interaction, but I mean interaction, I don't mean internet control delete. This is not natural interaction between us and the computer. And I believe the way that we communicate with the computer, or the computer communicate with us, is gonna change. Now I'm gonna take a risk because we're in the middle of developing part of it, but let me give it a try and see what we have. Okay, just a minute. What the hell is this? What are you doing here? I'm you. You are not me. I am me. Test me. What do you mean test you? Can you wiggle with your eye? Can you open your mouth? Now comes you I don't know if I told to do. Can you shut your mouth? <laughs> you see, you cannot. Can you turn your mouth to the right, to the left? Say I love you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> There's only one thing that I don't believe that you can imitate. What's that? <laughs> you cannot imitate my accent. You've got a funny British accent. <laughs> I've got a cute Californian Israeli accent. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The point I'm trying to say is the following. And what you see over here, the important thing to take is not the avatar. Look at something that we are doing real time. This consume huge amount of consume compute power of Sandy Bridge with the four cores. And what we are going to do it? We are going to use it for fun. We are going to use it for social networking. We are going to use it for games because not far away we'll be able to take my face, put it in the game, and I'm suddenly the hero. Or some will argue that I'm the villain inside the game to make it much more personal. I can do real-time instant messaging. I can create movies. I can have several figures. I can imitate each one of them, and I. The ability is endless, and I just want to give you an example, because this is going to be small part. It's going to be the gesture. It's going to be the overall interaction, and the point is the following. People keep on asking, who needs this performance? And I'm willing to bet that in three, four years, the way that we are going to communicate with our devices is going to be totally different. And when we look at the keyboard and the screen the way they are today, they will look like the Middle Ages. Let's take a look. By the way, destroy it, because I don't want to use my avatar for anything else. <laughs> I've got enough issues as it is. Let's take another look at the processor graphics. A lot was said about Intel processor graphics by our friends, and by not so much our friends, because I sell a lot of articles in the press lately. 
the new architecture that you combine the CPU, the GPU, the media, and we put over all everything of 32 nanometer, enable us to deliver a great boost to our graphic performance. In 2006, I believe it was Paul that says on stage that by 2010, we'll have 10x performance. In four years, we were wrong. We delivered 25x performance. Both the design, the architecture, and the new process technology, because remember, we moved it to the latest process technology. I believe it will be very safe to say that our process graphic is outperforming about 40-50% of the discrete graphics that exist in the market today. Let me repeat. Our process of graphic is going to outperformance 40-50% to of the discrete graphic that out there in the market. So let's see the results. What we see over here is just a gaming. World of Warcraft. One of them with the discrete graphics. The other one with Intel processor graphics. And you can see that definitely we can deliver a lot of experience. And I will not argue which one is which because I did it before. If people are arguing, <coughs> to tell you the truth, I'm not sure that which system is streaming where. But you can see that you can get real time, state of the art gaming experience on Sandy Bridge processor graphics as well as on discrete graphics. But PC gaming. Let's go on. Let's move to the next point, gentlemen. PC gaming has been changed as well. Today, technology blurred the border between the real world and the virtual world. Pretty soon, you'll not know if you're in the real world or the virtual world. And I don't believe there's anybody else that can speak better about it than Mr. Gaming himself, Gabe Noel, Valve CEO. Please welcome Gabe. Okay, how do you think Sandy Bridge will change the PC gaming landscape? You are writing software, you are writing gaming, you're delivering the titles. How would it change? Well, I think Sandy Bridge, to use your phrase, is a real game changer. I think from top to bottom, for mobile and desktop, we as game developers have the performance and features we need to deliver great customer experiences to gamers. So did you experience writing some software on Sandy Bridge? Well, for the last several months, we've been working on bringing Portal 2, our next game, uh, up on Sandy Bridge and exploring the potentials for delivering a great game experience using Sandy Bridge. So you believe that at the end of the day, we'll be working together. We'll be able to deliver console-like experience on a PC? Oh, absolutely. You know, we're a big fan of the PC. We see it as the center of innovation right now, whether it's, you know, MMOs like World of Warcraft or free-to-play or something like uh, Cityville, where they've got 84 million people playing the game. It's all happening on the PC. That's amazing. You told me something about Portal 2. When are you going to release it? We're going to release it in April of this year. So we just happened to have a small 30-second clip of Portal 2, courtesy of Valve, that will share with you how the game it's going to look like four months from now, and this was taken on Sandy Bridge system that we shipped you before we released. Please roll the video. Hey, darling. Are you still there? What you see over here is a sneak peek to a great title that we are going to see in April. Gabe, thank you very much and thank you for sharing with us this material. <laughs> and I'm sure that in CBIT you'll see us rocking, showing much more. But why should we look at video clips when we've got the real stuff? I've got over here with me on stage Jeff. Jeff is the CTO of SixSend that works with Razer on special controllers that actually will connect you to the PC that you'll be able to do with the game that pretty soon if you'll play with it and I urge you to go down to the booth you will not know which part is yourself, which one of the PC. What are you holding in your hand, Jeff? Uh, these are the Razer Hydra motion controllers that are powered by 6 technology. So here we